In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cool parametric window where you can not only control the height and width of the window family, but also you can control the angle at which kind of the outside uh, cuts the facade so you can create all sorts of these interesting facade patterns with your windows. Let's go. Now, before we go into Revit, I would just quickly like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. There you can find all of my Revit courses where I take the extra time to go slowly, step by step and explore all of Revit's interesting topics, ranging from beginner to intermediate all the way to advanced level topics. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to go. Okay, so now without any further further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And as you can see, here I am in Revit and I'm just here at the home screen. So I'll go here to families and then go to new. Uh, now here, what I'll do is I'll just scroll down and find window. So here at the bottom, you have three options. I'm just going to go with the generic window hit open and that's going to look like this. So here what we'll have, we'll have the interior, we'll have the exterior uh, of the wall, uh, here we have the wall in the middle and then here we have some dimensions for the uh, width and then also if I go to exterior elevation, uh, here we have the height of the window and also the default sill height. And now by default in Revit, these windows have something that's called an opening cut. So if I select this, See how when I hover over it, sometimes it's going to highlight the whole window, but if I hit the tab key uh, once, it's going to highlight this just a line that goes around the opening, and here it's going to say opening cut. So this is basically a tool that Revit uses to cut the window. Now this gives us some limitations. So one of them is the fact that it's going to cut straight so perpendicular to the wall, it's going to cut straight through that. And that's going to be good in most cases. In this case, where we actually want to have an angled cut, well, we are going to have to use a different approach, and that is by using a void. So what I'll do here is I'll just select that opening cut and then hit delete, and we no longer have an opening, and we're going to be creating an opening a bit later on. Okay, so now we have to go back to our exterior elevation. And now I just want to set some basically a frame. Uh, so basically, you can look at this kind of like a frame or a skeleton for our parametric family, that's just going to be holding everything in place and holding all of the parameters. So what we have here is basically just the opening and that's already parametric. So if I go here, you can see we only already have those parameters. So now we want to have those angle parameters. So what I'll do for that is go here to create, go to reference plane, and then basically you want to have as many of these as you want to have those angled cuts. So I want to have the ability to have an angle cut on each side and then also on the top and I don't want to have an angle cut at the bottom ever. So I'm just going to leave that flat. Then what you want to do is you want to go here to align the dimension, start from the main line and then attach it to this one, place it and just leave it like that. Again, start from the main one, uh, click on the new one and then place it there and then the same thing on top. So we have now these three dimensions, which I'll now convert into parameters. So what you want to do for that is first, I like to find the reference plane here, and then I want to rename it. So here you can see this is the right reference plane. And then I can just click on this one and call this one the right offset. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just select that click like this and then control C to copy that text. I'll go back to my uh, here the uh, the dimension line, go here to label dimension and click on create parameter. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to paste that name here, control V to paste, make it an instance parameter and then click OK. And now we have something that looks like this. And now I'm just going to repeat the process for the rest of these. And now, as you can see here, we have this parameter for top offset, we have the left offset parameter, and also I've named this one left offset and this one top offset. So now once we have this frame, I want to add one more reference plane, and I'm going to do that here in the reference level. So you want to come here to the interior side, and then what we want to do is we don't want the cut to be angled 
throughout the whole length of the wall. So here, if I just go to perhaps symbolic lines, I don't want my cut to go like this. Uh, the, the main reason for that is basically we don't really have a place to fit our window frame. So imagine if the frame was like this, this just wouldn't make any sense. So what I want to do here is for this cut, I want the cut to follow and let me just sketch it out. So I want it to follow something like this. See? So now we have this straight part of the cut where now I can, let me go back here, yeah, where I can now host that kind of framing of the window. So this is something that we want to simulate or create and I'll just show you how to do that. So what you want to do here is go to create, then go to reference plane and then you just want to create a reference plane that's kind of on the inside. So it kind of follows, basically, it's going to give you a little bit of thickness where you can add that frame for the window. So what I'll do here is go to uh, align the dimension, place it here, so hit the tab key once or twice until it highlights, see how it says interior reference plane. So click from there to here and then just place it. And then for this reference plane, I'm just going to call it interior offset. Okay, and then this, I can just control the, the offset actually. So here I can say, okay, I want it to be 60 millimeters and then I can just leave it like that. And we can also lock it in place, which is something I recommend. You can turn it into a parameter, but you don't really have to. Okay, so once we have all of this in place, now it's time to create a new opening here. So for that, we're going to be using, instead of an opening, I'm just going to be so this is the opening and instead of that we're going to be using a void. So what you would want to do first is create that straight opening for the window frame. So let's go here to the exterior side and now you want to be really careful. You want to go here to extrusion, you want to go to set work plane and then you want to set it to interior side. So interior, click OK, use a rectangle and then just find kind of the, the main window. So this is the main window or the main opening. And then once you make it, you want to lock it on all four sides. So this is now locking it in place and making it parametric. Hit finish, go back to reference plane. And then here, as you can see, it's going kind of like this on the outside. So we want to just snap it and attach it. So lock it in place to our offset reference plane, interior offset. So we just want to make sure we have that in place. Now when you go to the 3D view, let's see, so we have that here and I think I've messed up. Yeah, instead of going to void extrusion, I used a regular extrusion. Now that's not a problem actually, you can just select regular solid form, you can go here to the properties panel and then just change it from solid to void, hit apply, and now it's a void. And now we can just use cut geometry to cut it from this wall. So now we have just that small straight cut that we want to see and now it's time for that angled cut. So for the angled cut what you want to do is go back to exterior and this is where you want to be even more careful because you want to make sure that the reference planes that you set are correct. So you want to go here to void forms, you want to go to uh, vo let's see, void blend click on that. Uh, now we're uh, editing the uh, kind of the bottom of it. So you want to go here to set work plane and then you want to set it to interior offset just like that. Click OK. Then you want to go here to rectangle and just place it on the inside just like we did previously and lock it on all four sides. Then you want to go to edit top and then here you want to set the work plane to be the exterior side and then click OK. And then again a rectangle and now you want to use that big rectangle that we have created with our parametric reference planes and you just want to lock everything in place. And then here for the second uh, end we can just turn that into zero, hit finish and now if I go to the 3D view that should be now in place and it is. So see how we have this and also you want to double check here in the reference level, see how it's cutting exactly way, the way it should to the exact point. Well, it's not cutting, it's just there, but it's not cutting through the wall, so we have to cut it through the wall by using the cut geometry tool. 
select the wall, select this thing, and there we have our cut. And this is what our window looks like now. Now, of course, you can uh, control this angle by going here into the family types. Let's make this a bit smaller so we can see our window. There we go. So if I want my uh, left offset to be smaller, I can set that to 100, hit apply, see now it's at 100, and I can even go down to zero, hit apply, and now as you can see, it's straight there. Then for the top, I can change the top offset to uh, 300 if I want, hit apply, see now that's up to 300, and then the right offset can be 250, hit apply so you can actually play around with all of this and then you also you can still control the height so this can be 1600 hit apply so it can go up and down so you have basically full control over this uh, window now also if you select the wall and if you change the height or, or the thickness of the wall it's still going to behave properly. Now this is actually called family flexing. So we're kind of flexing the family, making sure it doesn't break if you make certain changes. And in this case, it didn't, which is good. Okay, so here we have all of this in place and now it's time to kind of finalize the window by adding the frame and the glass. So let's go back down to exterior, go to create extrusion, and then this will be set to uh, reference plane interior okay click OK and then just create a simple rectangle on the inside oops so a rectangle on the inside and then lock that in place on all sides and then what you want to do is create a new rectangle with an offset of let's say 40 millimeters or 50 millimeters I don't know like that hit the space key to flip it inside now obviously i'm doing this really simple you, you would probably use a frame that has a bit more to it but in this case let's just leave it as is now uh, you just want to make sure to go to uh, dimension go from here to here and then lock that in place go from here so make sure you use the upper one not the lower one this is the uh, offset and then this is just left so you want to go with left reference place it there, lock that in place, go from here to here, lock that in place, and then from here to here, and lock that in place. Okay, now when we hit finish, we want to go to our reference level and just make sure we lock it in place here as well. So we have that, and then finally, uh, let's just add the glass, which is again just exterior, create, extrusion, rectangle, and just a simple rectangle there and then again lock that on all sides and then once i hit finish uh what you'll see here in the 3d view it's going towards the wrong side and it's way too thick so let's go minus four millimeters so then it's going to be kind of on the inside and that's that's okay and finally let's add a material so here for the material this will be glass so let's see glass okay use that one and then this will be some sort of, I don't know, like aluminum or something like that. So let's see, Alum aluminum, yeah, I usually find it hard to pronounce. Okay, let's use that one. And there we go, we have our window. And that's how it looks and you can see it behaves properly when we change any of these parameters. So now what I'll do is I'll load this into the project and show you how to actually use it inside of a project. Okay, and now I have placed these in a project and I've actually set all of the offsets to zero and now you can actually start playing around with these. So for example, for this one, I can give it a 300, uh, oh, this is centimeters. Okay, a 30 centimeter offset on the left. On this one, I can give it a, let's say, a 20 centimeter offset on the top and on the right. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, this one, I can just give it a 40 centimeter offset on top to see how that one would look. And then this one will have a right offset of 30 centimeters and it would look like this. So as you can see, we can start creating really interesting patterns on our facade just by changing a few of these parameters. And then of course, if you wanna change the actual size of the windows, you can do that as well. Now those are type parameters, so you can change them here. So if you wanna have like a higher window, this one will be higher, but it's still 
uh, retains that offset on top. And there you go. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to get this uh, Revit family, or if you want to get access to all of my Revit project files from these tutorials, you can find all of that on my Patreon page, which I'll link up just below this video in the description. And then also by clicking on that little, uh, the, uh, the annotation on top and the cards. Uh, so check that out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.